What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of the Through Night T1 flashlight. Um, this is a little flashlight, but it's not too little. It's very powerful for its size. So let's get into it. Got a little rubber band on the box. This box feels nice and solid. Here's the box. We got some uh, languages here. Please screw down the light head and the tail cap tightly before use. That's because they don't want you emailing them and saying it doesn't work because this, you know, your cap has to be tight so the battery is making contact, you know. So uh, let's see what's in here. We got a little piece of foam. Oh, we got a lot of paper. A big piece of paper. Let's open this up so you, can, so you can pause it if you need to read this. Man, there's a lot of words here. You know me. I don't really like to read because most flashlights are similar and uh, this one looks like a nice flashlight. Look at that. It looks very similar to an Olight in that picture, actually. Let's see. Put that to the side. Oh, there's more stuff in the box. Can you believe it? Thank you for purchasing, and there's their contact information for their customer service. This is that packet you guys like to eat. Don't eat it though. Charging cable. You could use this for many devices. Um, lanyard. Some extra gaskets in here. And a pocket clip. Very similar to Olight's pocket clip. All right, so there's the box. You can save that for something else, or you can throw the box away. So let's get into the flashlight. All right. Hmm. Wow. It's got a nice weight to it. Look at that orange peel reflector. A little bit. Yeah, um, this flashlight feels nice and solid in hand. I have to say that it feels heavy for its size. Uh, it's got a lot of grooves in here and a heat sink up here. Grooves here so you don't drop it. You know, it's not going anywhere. There's a lot of texture here. Um, wow, okay guys. So my first impressions about this light is that it's similar to the Olight S1R2 or the Baton 3 also. Um, this one maxes out at 1500 lumens and the uh, Olight Baton 3 maxes out at 1200 and the S1R2 maxes out at 1000 lumens. Um, but one thing is with Olight you'll never get neutral white. You always get cool white. You know that really blue white light? Through night got some neutral light in here. Let's open up this light and see if they keep a plastic thing. Be oh, they don't. Okay. There's no plastic um, film between the battery. Okay. Looks good. 18350 battery here, just like the Baton 3 and the S1 uh, R2 from Olight. Same thing. Very simple. Let's see how it turns on. Uh, before I turn it on, I'm show you charging port. Keep that shut. Let's go. Okay, smooth ramping. Oh, ramping. Let's see if double tap does anything. 
ramps up and down if you hold a button. Double tap, go straight to the high mode turbo. Um, this battery is probably not fully charged because I, like I said, this is a first impressions. I just opened the box and I'm not joking around. So this battery is not fully charged. So it will get brighter than this. Um, it does look neutral to me. It's not too cool. This is a white background. So if this was cool, this white table will be looking bluish, very white. You can see there's some yellow in this light. It's neutral. Now let's compare this with the Olight i3T EOS. All right, you can pretty much see right there. I, I turned on this light. You can see this light is very white and cool. All right. This light is more yellow over here, and this light is more white. This one only has like 130 lumens, uh, 180 lumens, I believe. So it's definitely not as powerful. I mean, it is green. They're both OD green, very popular color. Hmm. Nice. Nice. So you're getting the popular OD green, just like old lights, so OD green. Like that. And you know what? For the size, compared to this to this, you're getting it's this one thinner, but you're getting a lot more light and uh, battery life, and it's brighter than the old light. And it, honestly, this beats out the S1 R2 and the Baton 3. This on Amazon is roughly $45 for this neutral white OD green. If you want a different color, it'll get cheaper than that, you know, under $40. So, I mean, all right, that's three taps. You get a strobe. Look at that. You can't really beat this. I'll show you some size comparisons to popular EDC items. T1, through night, baby banter. You know, this is a hot knife right now. Take a look. I mean, come on guys, that's smaller than the Baby Banter. The Baby Banter, excellent knife. So if you wanted a small EDC, you could do a Baby Banter with the Through Knight. It'd be a great pair, you know. Here's Palm Spray. It's smaller than the Palm Spray by a lot. Mini Bug Out. Come on, guys. Para 3. Look at that. You guys, you know, you can't really go wrong with this. Oh, oops. This not, I mean, this lot is really small and powerful at the same time. What else can you want? And for the price, it's more competitive um, than the old light, okay? You don't have to wait for any flash sale. You just buy this thing anytime you feel like it. And you know, even if you wait for an old light flash sale, you never know what's gonna appear on the flash sale, secondly. Uh, firstly, and then secondly, I mean, you're paying a higher price. Old light used to be cheaper, um, but now, you know, their prices are going up. They're starting to charge premium when brands like Through Night are taking over the price point that Olight used to be in. And this is real slick. Let me put the pocket clip on, guys. I, I'm sorry for rambling, but I'm not, because this, uh, this is a fun light. I know I'm gonna carry this light, because this light is just, it's just so, man. Oh, it got a magnetic cap. Look at that, guys. I'm fooling around with it, and I'm learning. I know I'm gonna carry this lot because I don't actually have a light this small um, with this uh, 18350 battery. So let's put this clip on. I, I guess this would be the appropriate configuration right here. I mean, I usually like to have a flat surface where the clip is, but if I put it over here, it might block the charging port. Let's check it out. 
I mean, this kind of light, I kind of don't mind if I don't even um, put on a charging, uh, I mean, a, a pocket clip. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to block the letters on there, honestly. Okay, let's see. You know, I'm on Instagram, so whatever position the clip is in for to see the branding on the light is the nice way to put this light. All right. Um, maybe not. Move that back a little. <laughs> now I'm an Instagram guy. You see? Everything just like, you know, stays out. Upright. Through night TI. I mean T1. And it uh, looks great. I know you guys are going to see these in my on my Instagram page when I take some photos and post them. This is a really aesthetic light. And it's a great value. There's nothing else I can really say about it. Um, you know, there's really not much I can say bad about this light. It's a great price. It feels solid. The machining is excellent. Like I, I can't complain. It got a magnetic cap, which you guys just saw right now. Look at that. Oh, you can pick up a baby banter. Oh, it pulled the blade out. Watch out. It can hold a power of three. Oh, it can hold two knobs. Look how strong that is, guys. If you guys like to work on cars and stuff, you're going to appreciate that this has a magnetic tail. Um, and, you know, without having the magnetic charging, because now you can charge it anywhere you want. And this cable is super common. You know, you'll find this anywhere. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I really got nothing to complain about this. Um, this minute, this video is 12 minutes long. I don't want to talk too much longer. But this is a great looking light. And you guys should definitely consider buying one because I, um, you know, I am really happy with how it feels in my hand. And this is going to fit in the pocket. Excellent. Great. You know. With this pocket clip, you can put it on the brim of your hat. If you need a headlamp and you got a, a baseball cap or whatever cap, just slide that thing on or you put it in your pocket. Or you can take off the clip and just drop it in your pocket or wherever. This, but this thing is real small. A lot of light in a small package. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I don't want to keep rambling about how this light feels great in my hands and how it is... Uh, fun because I can't wait to use this and I'm going to be taking photos of this light with my knives outside and wherever I am you know I like to just post any kind of everyday life photos on my Instagram so my Instagram is TimZUSA please give me a follow leave me some likes you know send me a message I'll follow you back too um, yeah subscribe to this channel give me a like a dislike if you like to do that you know leave me a comment on what you want to see maybe more flashlight um, unboxings I saw like some people are saying they like the flashlights and uh, yeah until next time Tim Z out